So the last week we talked about how India is suddenly finding itself in the heart of this AI infrastructure data center race. And suddenly it looks like things are going well for India. And now within days after that report from Deloitte, we've got two major announcements exactly validating what we suggested. Number one is Google and Adani Group have announced a partnership to build Asia Asia data center campus in Vishakhapatnam. If you go back to a couple of months ago, we made a report about how the smaller towns are going to become the focus for data centers. And there's exactly inconsistency with that. Also, the order of scale, the scale of uh, investment from Google slash Adani is about $15 billion over the next five years. So it will have been completed by 2030 and will become one of Asia's largest AI data centers and the second largest for Google after the US. Now, one more thing that happened a few days after that is that TCS has announced an investment of one gigawatt data center in a grid in India that is going to become a data center hub for uh, for his global operation. Now, what we're talking about is this is a fundamental shift, not just for TCS, but also an indication of how perhaps the IT services industry might be moving into infrastructure. Infrastructure, from, especially from the AI perspective, means a lot of good things, but also brings to fore a couple of very important questions. Now, number one, what about data sovereignty that we were talking about all along? Who is going to own the compute layer of the infrastructure? Who is going to own the future? Who is going to will it be the hyperscalers like Google, Microsoft, and Amazon and others? Or will it be the Indian conglomerates like Adani, uh, Tata Group, Reliance, and others? Or will Indian startups have a fight to play, have a role to play in and get a piece of that action? Now, because once compute power is controlled, you have to understand so is influence. Now, wherever the compute power goes, so will the influence. Now, in this new economy where data is a new oil and AI compute is, is the infrastructure to play, now the question is at what cost are we giving away our land parcels to large MNCs to build and set up? Are we going to be happy that this is how it's going to be? Or are we going to have a much more equitable split of both the rewards and the risks? We want to know that. And as a country, these are questions we have to ask. And our AI builders, our builders, startup builders, founders, investors need to understand that there is also a risk in allowing our land to become data colonized by large companies, even if they're Indian players. We need to ask ourselves the question, what will the future hold? And to what extent is our risk equitably distributed with other participants? Think about this and we'll continue with this some more very soon.